Gee. Yeah. I was wondering if you realize that I'm completely naked over here. <laughs> Who knew the fuck a poor van went by? What was that happened? <laughs> they all honked and were taking pictures. Look at that naked Viking. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> Didn't see you walk in on me. <laughs> well, you must be here for the documentary. Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> One of my favorite skits is when Bam and Chris well, Hanna are searching for the Sasquatch, which just happened to be Mark Hanna. I know you live here, somewhere. And Mark Hanna's running around in the woods, in the rain, <laughs> I don't know why, climbing up into trees for no apparent reason at all. <laughs> and he's running and he, t and he takes this jump and gets so much air and he lands, Ugh! <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? What the hell was that shit? All day filming and it's soon just starting to get dark and then just... Sure, sure, come on. We have to do something so it's just me shitting off a bridge pretty much. The funniest thing I've ever seen Brandon do on tape by far is when he had his long hair. Rehoboth roll! Yeah, yeah. I like Rehoboth. Oh, yeah. And he got thrown off the top of the bleachers at East High School. Hey. Basically, this skit was about uh, Brandon was rooting for Rehoboth. Which is a gay football team. You're dead now, you punk. You're dead. And Bam wasn't cool with it, so he just kicked the shit out of him. You're dead. You're dead. Get him. Oh, watch how gentle Tim beats me with this log. I almost like it. <laughs> Ryan Dunn fucked this one up so bad. Look how far away he is right there in his haggard ass hunk of shit LeBaron. The best thing about this skit was the stuntman for Brandon was half his size. It was just a stuffed dummy and it looked so dumb. My favorite skit would have to be Captain Undies. Captain Undies has no plot whatsoever, and I don't know what the fuck we were thinking when we made it. What's this I see? A young lad being beaten? For some reason I got shit stains on the outside of my underwear. It just cuts to the point so bad. There's no getting around the bushes. It's tackle, bang, and ass. <laughs> There's no in between. <laughs> Look at the fear in Ryan Dunn's eyes when he's about to get raped in the ass. Yeah, look at those shit things. Dude, it's not that way. Poop dick and bloody ass is pretty gross. I can tell just by watching it that somebody liked it a little bit too much. It's just a visual you can never work out of your head. You got humped by Dave Bataro. You all right, Captain Undies? Let me help you. Oh my God, your ass. Believe this. After being at sea all day, swabbing through in the fourth with the first mate, I am definitely starving to famish rot. Oh, I can't see.
Each and every time. Yeah. What am I to say? What? I on the bed. On the bed. My wife was there. I couldn't believe what she said. And she told me that if I didn't get my ship say bastard to that, then it was true. Sorry, I just too much with that. So I returned to the ship. <laughs> Okay, thanks a lot, Mr. McCormick. 7.30, no problem. What's some of the funniest, stupidest things that happened when you and fucking Brandon had to work at the biggest idiot job in you? <laughs> 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 Get out of the light, you fuck ass. Chill for one second. Brian Dunn's fucking up the lighting right now, and back in high school he had this haggard LeBaron and he would just skid out all over the place. And he thought he was so cool, but people would just talk shit on him behind his back and clean him up. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Dunn would pull up in some new haggard hunk of shit car that he got because he just wrecked his last one, you know, he was getting an accident like it was no fucking tomorrow. <laughs> What the fuck is in there? <laughs> the scientist skit. The, the whole time I'm just trying to see how far I can take it with art, and we also bought some dry ice, so there you go. It's mad scientist land with bubbling water. <laughs> and art always wears this chain on his neck. Like, that was his tough stage, and he would always have those flannels with the cut-off sleeves, so... I just wanted to fuck with him as bad as I could, and, uh, and then just watch him freak out. You want to watch? I show you this in the death train. Alkaline battery substance. You too will be able to protect. Do you feel it? Think. What's going to happen? What is it? Do you feel? If you look at Art's eyes, like the whole time while I start putting the water on his head and showing him the mirror, he's not even thinking about anything except getting pissed. Would you like to taste it? How do you feel? Look at yourself! You're the first to know the future! Shadow <laughs> boy! Back! I must get I get the fuck off, dude! I let you do some fucked up shit! I ate the fucking shit banana, dude! And you're fucking stuck in my ear! You fucking put my chain in the water, it's probably gonna rust! And you fucking poured water all over me, you fuck! For that, you get the fucking version! <laughs> No, you don't even fucking do it. All right, now we gotta clean all our shit up. Fuck, oh, dude, I spit that out, man. I'm gonna go throw up. What can we learn from this? No doubt. All experiments away! It's science! <laughs> oh, Come on, get a hold of it. I know it's thin. Down the hatch, Mary Poppins. Look out! No! <laughs> <laughs> Not the reaction I've expected. I got this blue juice in that bottle, but it, of course it's black and white because it is. And uh, this, I don't know why, but the juice makes it makes me be able to think one week in advance, which I don't even bother to explain at all <laughs> until now. And that's why I can't um, think about anything, because I'm thinking about next week at that time, you know? And, and I'm forgetting something, but I'm not, because I already thought about it, so... <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'm thinking, because I'm thinking in the next week! Oh! <laughs> back to the boys who bought me this. I 
I'm forgetting something, but I'm not because I remembered I was forgetting something and then I realized, I, oh, never mind, let's go! After you film The Scientist for a while and then you're done with it, you're like, now what the hell am I gonna do? So you just grab a bike <laughs> that's laying there and then it's nighttime, so I look like a madman, so I guess I'm British all of a sudden and I'm riding around with a flame. <laughs> the British are coming to with my seat because I can't ride. <laughs>